Welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome back to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Sunday. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the Ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and visiting. Hope you enjoy your visit. Um, our Sunday has gone well. We have slept in. I did not sleep very well last night because I'm kind of sore. Um, those of you who are just joining us, I had a medical procedure on Friday. And so I'm still a little into BG sore. And I don't like to take pain medication. Just to tell you, they said I can take Tylenol for the next week if I want like one Tylenol every time I'm sore. But I'm just like, you know, I don't like taking a lot of pain medication. So I have the Tylenol and, and maybe I should have taken it last night because I didn't sleep very well. We kind of slept in and stayed home from church. So just to tell you, this video is a little bit earlier than it normally is on Sunday. Um, and we are going to just do prayer time, but we are going to do... I have Mariah with me, as you can see. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the ark today and my, my time with my mommy. Hi, everybody. But anyway, her and I are going to do prayer time together. Then we're going to do a book for you guys. And I will tell you, this is a story that I've been wanting to do with you guys. Um... We are, let me get this price tag off here. I'm going to play a game afterwards. Now, I am improvising the game just to tell you. I don't have any rules for this game, so I don't know exactly how it's played. So, because I got it at a thrift store. And sometimes, I, if you notice, when you get things at thrift stores, especially toys, sometimes they're missing pieces. Honey, can you throw that out for me, please? Thank you, babe. Um, But, anyway, the the... You kind of like miss pieces sometimes. So this game I bought a very long time ago. I did not know what pieces it had and what pieces it didn't have. So we are improvising. And you'll see that. But it's still a fun game. It's still going to be a fun game. We're still going to see who gets in, in Mariah and Mommy style. Because you know we like Candyland. We like shoots and ladders in this house. We like, we had the cupcake race. Now we're actually going to do first one to get. Well, anyway, I'll give you the rules. But anyway, as you can see, I have Miss Mariah with me and she is wearing, I just want to show you what she's wearing. I don't know if you've ever seen her in this or not, but this is a Just One You by Carter six to nine month dress. It's got ladybugs all over it, as you can see. And it's got snaps in the back and it's a little bit big on her. But it's like a onesie combo dress because it's got like the little onesie underneath here with like the little polka dots on it that they have up here. But then there's a ladybug here and she's got a brown flower in her hair which is not staying right. So we might just take the flower out guys. She doesn't like hair pieces anyway so we'll just take the flower out. Um... But anyway, we'll put that over there. And so anyway, we are going to do prayer time for you guys now. And then we're going to read our story and play our game. And so, but we are going to do, just to tell you the story. You guys already know the story because you guys saw the title. So anyway, you going to stay on mommy's lap? Yes, mommy. Um, mommy. Where is Jeremiah? Oh, okay. Jeremiah is with Daddy, everybody. Yes, Jeremiah is with Daddy. Um, okay, Mommy. Jeremiah didn't bug me today, everybody. Wasn't that a good thing? That was a good thing, Mommy. That was? Okay. Yes, that was a good thing. Jeremiah didn't bug Mariah today. Uh, he's a little tired. He's been up on and off. I think with how restless I was, he was rest. He was just as restless. Um, and then I played with him for a little while. Um, I think he wanted me to pick him up a little earlier and I can't, um, after tomorrow I'll be able to pick him up. I think I'm on restriction until Monday. I'll be talking to a nurse tomorrow. So I'll find out if it's tomorrow or 
Tuesday that I can start doing everything normally. Um, tomorrow, I'll just, I'll talk to the nurse. She'll tell me. But um, then I get my results back. And I'm going to just let you guys know when I get the results back, if I've already done a video, I will come back on and do a video and let you guys know what they, what they say. Um, I'm just in waiting here. So we're just in waiting right now. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's pray and get, get right to it because Mariah is very excited. Yes, Mommy, I want you to read me my story. Okay, we're going to pray first. Can we pray first? Yes, Mommy, we'll pray first. Okay, we're going to pray first, and then we're going to read a story and play a game that goes along with the story. I kind of adapt it. I, I'm telling you, I have to adapt this game because it's missing a lot of pieces. So we'll just adapt. The important pieces are there. Just to tell you, most of the important pieces are there. And there is one game piece, um, which I think Mariah and I are going to share. Well, really, how can we share? We'll see. I, I kind of had to improvise with a game piece. So, whichever whoever's game piece gets there first. That's what we'll do. But let's pray first. Um, I don't know if any new prayer requests that we're adding um i don't think there's any new prayer requests we're adding sorry guys i do have to get a drink and yes i have to live with my lift with my left side which is really hard with this because it's so heavy it's just so heavy, guys. It's like it's a it's got sixty four ounces of water in it, and it's pretty heavy. So I've been lifting it with my left hand. I'm right handed, as you guys know. So from seeing me right, so doing most of the lifting with my left is like really, really different. Um, Hannah and Mariah are basically the only two for the last two days that I've lifted. Um, because they said I can lift Hannah. But I'm going to try to get in there today and do the some of the lighter ones like Joanna and Madeline and maybe Isaiah and Stephanie and Savannah. I cannot do, just to let you guys know, Mabel. Mabel, I cannot touch until after tomorrow. So, and Tammy Ann, I can't touch till after tomorrow because she's pretty, she's really weighted. Tammy Ann is about, she's my, one of my preemies, like Joanna is, but she's really weighted. She's not very light at all. Um, so anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, before I get more distracted, let's do prayer time. And then we'll do our book and play our game for you guys. It's actually like a Sunday school type activity we're going to do today. And um, just to let you guys know, we might be doing more of these on Sunday because I found a whole bunch of my old Sunday school stuff. I got so much of it. Mariah and I are going to start doing a little bit more Sunday school type activities on Sundays for you guys. Um... So we'll see. But I found all my Sunday school activity stuff. Some of it's in the shed, but I found some of it in that closet when I was cleaning it out. And so, yeah, I know. I'm still cleaning out <coughs> the closets. Um, and of course, this is kind of, the biopsy kind of grounded me a little bit. So I can't, I couldn't exactly do it, but I'm resting. So I either get back to it this week or the following week. I do have offer of help. I might just call the person and let her help come up and help me. Um, come over and help. Which would be great. Because then I can get it done. Because I got our closet to do. I want to like just straighten it out a little bit. I don't want it to get too messy. You know. My OCD is kicking in when it comes to that. 
So anyway, sorry I'm rambling, guys. But let's pray, and then we can get on with our little book, our story, and our, our game. So let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you, and we thank you for, for Sundays and how we can go and worship you and, and come home and rest and just thank you for you. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you for who you are and for what you've done for us. And I just pray now, Father, in the name of Jesus, for everyone who has needs. Father, first I think of my mother-in-law. I think of Jeannie as she is sick. And Eliane, as she is sick, and Walt, as he is sick, I just pray that you will just reach down and you will touch and heal them. Father, I pray that you will protect Jack, Dad, from getting sick. Father, as she has, as Jeannie has COVID, I just pray that you will just touch and heal her, give her a quick and speedy recovery. Father, we are claiming her healing now in the name of Jesus and protection over Dad as he has as he has parkinson's and his immune system is very compromised father i just pray that you will just protect him from getting sick and father i just pray now in the name of jesus that you will just touch and heal Allie Ann and walt and put them on their feet again father in the name of jesus and father i just pray that you will just be with with Anne marie i pray father that if she still doesn't feel well from the other day that you will just reach down and that she will feel better that her heartburn and her indigestion will go away father in the name of jesus and that she will feel much better and father i do pray now in the name of jesus that you will just be with the emory with her chronic fatigue and with her with her muscle pain father we are claiming your healing for Marie. father by your stripes she is healed lord we are saying that in the name of Jesus, by your stripes, she is healed. We are claiming that. And Father, I do pray that you will just give her strength and energy that she may be able to do what she needs to do. And Father, I do pray now in the name of Jesus that you will just be with, with that whole family situation, that you will touch and heal that family situation, Lord, that every, all will be well. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with that nobody will even say anything to hurt Noah, Father. Now, I pray for her daughter, Hattie, that, Father, that as she is still waiting for her unemployment benefits, that she will get a quick and speedy decision, that, Father, that they will give her her, own, her benefits in a timely manner. In the name of Jesus, and, Father, I do pray that as she is searching for an internship, a job, that you will open up the right door in her field, one that she will be able to grow in as she finishes school, and then once she's out of school, that this will be a a job for her out of school when she gets out of school she'll have a, already have a job and that she will be able to grow work in her chosen field and grow father in it and that you will just that she will have great pay and great benefits and awesome hours father that you will just work it all out for her in the name of jesus and father i do pray that you will be with susie i pray that you will just we are claiming Susie's healing from knee, hip, and back pain. By your stripes, Susie is healed in the name of Jesus. And Father, give her the strength. And with no pain, Father, that she may be able to get everything done. We pray for Susie's husband now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as he needs healing, I just pray that you will just reach down and touch and heal him. We are going to claim his healing, Father. In Jesus, in your name, we're going to claim his healing. That by your stripes, Susie's husband is healed. And Father, I do pray in the name of Jesus that you will just be with their family member, Father. Whatever the need may be, that you will reach down and that you will touch that need. And Father, I pray for Jessica. I pray that you will be with her, that you will reach down, touch and heal. We are claiming Jessica's healing in the name of Jesus. That by your stripes, Jessica is healed in Jesus' name now i pray lord that you will just be with sonia that you will continue to heal her body 
that by your stripes she will be healed. And we can claim that. And Father, we do pray for Sashi. Touch and heal his broken heart, I pray. I pray that you will mend as you are the mender of broken hearts. Oh, great Jehovah, I just pray that you will mend Sashi's broken heart. And I pray now that you will just be with that you will just be with all of us that are having mental health issues. I pray for Becca and Susie and Colleen and Lauren and, and Jessica. I just pray, Father, that for all of us who are depressed, stressed, worried, we have just so much going on, that your peace will come upon us, that we will have your joy. We will sense your presence. For in your presence there is no worry, no fear, no sadness, nothing, Father but peace and joy. And Lord, I just pray now in the name of Jesus that you'll be with Tammy, my love, that you'll be with her, that you will just help her as she continues to, to get over her eye shots. I pray that she will have no side effects again and that, Father, that as she doesn't have to go back for two months, that is really praise. Thank you for that praise report, Lord, that she doesn't have to go back for eight weeks. That is a praise. And Lord, we do claim her healing and we pray for, for Drizella. I pray that you will just give Drizella peace, comfort, take her pain away, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray for all of Dee's family. I pray that for her family and her friends as they are mourning her loss, Father, that you will just give them peace and comfort in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray for Sheila as she continues to care for her father, I pray that you will give her the wisdom to know what to do and, and what you want done, Father. As she honors her father, that you will just bless her in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with, with Colleen and Becky as they make their future plans. I pray that you will just be with them, that you will knock down every wall and that they will be able to go through with their future plans. And Father, I do pray in the name of Jesus that you will be with her, Colleen and Lauren, that as she goes after sole custody of Lauren, that she will get it, that she will have a speedy decision in a timely manner, Father, and that everything will go smoothly, that Lauren's father may not even fight her, but he may just, that he, it may all just go well, Father. And I pray, Father, as they are on their medications, that you will give the doctors wisdom as to know what doses of medication they need to be on and what medications they need to be on and that they will be on the right dose and that it will help them, Father, that it will help them, that medication will work the way it's supposed to work. In Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with, with all of us today. I pray that you will bless us, that you will just give us peace, that you will just give us your joy today and give us your blessings today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, you want, us to, you want your mommy to read the story to you? Yes, mommy. I'm ready for my story now. Amen, people. I'm ready. We just said amen. Yes, we did. We just said amen. So prayer time's over. Okay, mommy, let's go. I want my story. Jeremiah, you want to come over here and listen to a story with mommy and me? Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, he's laying with daddy. He doesn't want to be with us, mommy. Well, he does, but your daddy's home. So, besides, I'm about to read a story. Now, this story is called, Dear God, Are You Trying to Tell Me Something? Are You Telling Me Something? And this is Jonah and the Whale. This is a pretty cute book, guys. This is a Bible story from Matthew 12. This is not from Matthew 12. This is from Jonah, but... One day, God spoke to a man named Jonah. There's Jonah. He said, Jonah, I want you to go to a place called Nineveh and talk to the people there for me. 
They are doing very bad things and I am not happy about this. I want you to tell them they must change and stop doing these awful things. They don't want them been doing the bad things. Yes, they were, sweetheart. It's a cute little board book, guys. But, but guess what? But Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh, so he did not obey God. Instead, he bought a ticket and went on a ship out into the sea. But God knew when Jonah, where Jonah was, and he sent a terrible storm. Everyone on the ship, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> was afraid. They were all asking, why is this happening? Mommy, why did it happen? You'll see. You'll see why it happened. Then Jonah said, it's my fault. I didn't obey God. Uh-oh, Jonah didn't obey God. That's why the ship was being tossed in, around. If you throw me overboard, then you will all be safe. So they did throw him overboard. And guess what happened? What happened, Mommy? What happened? The storm stopped. Soon, a very big fish came along and swallowed Jonah. Oh, he loved me, Mommy. He stayed in the belly of that fish for three days. How many days, Mommy? Well, go one, two, three. Three days and one, two, three nights. Okay, one, two, three days, everybody. And one, two, three nights, everybody. Jonah began to pray and tell God he was sorry. He did not obey him. He asked God to please save him. Did he, Mommy? Did God save Jonah? Well, let's see. Then an amazing thing happened. God made that big fish throw Jonah right up onto the beach. Look at that. He's on the beach. Oh, boy. Then God said, now, Jonah... I want you to go to Nineveh and to tell the people what I have said. Did he, Mommy? Did he? Did he go to Nineveh after all? Well, let's read this part. Let's see. Jonah was ready to obey God. He went to Nineveh and told the people God wanted them to stop doing bad things. And they did stop and God forgave them. The end. But now we're going to go over to the table and we have a game. Now, just like I said, we're going to improvise this game because I don't have all the pieces. So I'm going to play a different way than the game is, I think, actually supposed to be played. I don't even have the directions to this game, guys. That's how old this game is. This is a Jonah and the Whale game. Oh, yeah. Jonah and the Whale. But what we're going to do, and I will explain it again when I get over there, is we're going to... Whichever one of us gets to Nineveh first. Jonah, who Mariah wants to be, or me, I'm going to be a little star. Whoever gets to Nineveh first wins. So we're hoping it's going to be Jonah, right? Right, Mommy? Jonah has to get to Nineveh. God told him he has to go to Nineveh. Let's go get him to Nineveh. Okay, let's go get him to Nineveh, shall we? Okay, honey, you want to... My husband is going to carry this over while I carry Mariah over, guys. Um, I got to be very careful. I can't, like, lift. Let me get up here. I'm kind of trying not to put too much pressure on this arm. Now, watch how I have to lift her. Okay, Mariah, come to Mama. Okay, Mommy, let's go. Let's go play our game. Are you coming, Jeremiah, to play our game with me? You like to play with me? Oh, sorry, guys. I kind of took out a different book and I was going to read it from a different book until I found that book. And I've had that book for a little while, so. Anyway. Okay, guys. We are going to play this game for you guys. Let me move this over here. I just moved it with my right, but it's, it's light. That's the thing about that. So, Mariah has said she wants to be Jonah. And I am going to be this little star right here. Now, we are taking this from here, which is star, all the way over here. All the way to Nineveh. 
and I don't know what that is, but anyway, I don't know what that is, but that is the finish line. We got to get Jonah from here all the way to Nineveh or this piece gets to Nineveh first. So we'll see who gets to Nineveh first, shall we? This is Jonah. This is Jonah, guys. This is a VeggieTales game, guys. I, I got it because it was a VeggieTales game, but it's Jonah, the Overboard Adventure game. But we're just going to use it to get Jonah to Nineveh. So let's go. Okay, spin the wheel, sweetheart. Okay, Mommy. I'm going first, everybody. Okay, people. Green. So I get to go to green, Mommy, which is right there. So you go to green. Okay, Mommy. There's my little piece on green. Can you guys see that? Yes, they can. Blue. Mommy goes to blue. And, of course, I'm the star, so I'm just following after her. Okay, Miss Mariah. Spin the wheel. Here. We'll set the wheel here. How about that? How about if we set the wheel here? See if we can get that to go down there so they can see you spin. This is not an easy wheel to spin, Mommy. I know. Hmm. That color. Whatever that color is. Well, that color is all the way down there. Okay, Mommy. Let's go, Jonah. You got to go to Nineveh. Mommy, Jonah has to get to Nineveh. I know he does. You going to try getting him to Nineveh? Yes, Mommy. And then Mommy goes right there. Okay. Hmm. I got that other color. Whatever that is. Yeah, that is this color. I think. That is this color. Or no. That is... Yeah, the next color is that color, but that just means, okay, this, if she, if you land on one of these where you have to take another card, you're just going to lose your turn, just to tell you. Green, okay, and she loses her turn, so I get to go again. Mommy, I get to go. Mommy gets to go. Oh. Okay, there's the blue. I didn't kind of land on that. I got the blue, guys, so. Okay, your turn again. Okay, Mommy. Uh, no! Okay, good. There's no card there. Okay, we might have to. Let me fix this. I know, I don't even think this is the actual stand for it, guys. I just think that um, they improvised. They played improvised. Here, Mommy, I'll just put it there for you. Okay, Mommy. Oh, a color nobody's got. Okay. Right there. And if you notice, I did not actually land on that. I did not actually get that color. So, if you guys noticed, as you guys can see. If you guys can see all this. See where Mariah is, is all the way over here. We gotta get Jonah to Nineveh. Come on, Jonah. You gotta get to Nineveh. Okay, let Mommy just... This does not want to cooperate. You want Mommy to do it for you? Yes, Mommy. Okay, I got green. Okay. And... Green. There we go. Jonah's making his way to Nineveh. Yes, he is. Green for Mommy. Oh, I move ahead. This space says I move ahead three spaces. So, one, two, three. So, you realize we have not landed on a fish yet? If it's a fish, this is the card right here. Um... So if we land on like one of these, we'll take one of these card, like one of these cards. If we land on a fish card, 
So, but right now we're just like following the path to get to um, another green, a lighter green. Okay, mommy. And maybe what the store, storm cards will draw a fish card too. That way we draw a card at times. So that's what we're going to do. But these cards, I ain't worried about it. So, oh, light purple. Okay, light purple. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. This thing, I don't like this thing, Mommy. You know, well, how about if you have that and the next one is a storm card. So, therefore, you draw a storm card. I'll draw it for you. Oh, you get to spin again. She gets to spin again. Okay, I get to spin again, everybody. Let's do it. Light purple. And that goes right... Uh-oh, there's a pirate ship. Yes, there's a pirate ship. Green. So I just move ahead one space. Okay, let's go again. Boo! Oh, let mommy put this. I got boo. Yes, you got boo. Okay, let mommy put that down there. And where are you going to move it? Right there. Okay, blue. And I move mine right there. Okay, sweet girl. Oh, my, this thing does not want to work for me. Okay, light purple. Light purple. Okay. Here. There it goes. Oh, this thing does not want to work for me either. Orange. Right there. I'm not going anywhere fast, am I? I'm not going anywhere quickly, am I? Okay. Mommy will hold this down and you can spin it. Oh, you got to spin it. I got purple, everybody. Light purple. Well, kind of. No, that other color. And you go to this color and you draw a fish card. Okay. Fishy card. What does it say? Oh, she gets to spin again. She keeps getting all these good fish cards, guys. So she gets to spin again. So go ahead. Green. I see the green. Okay, it goes that way. The light green. I call it pale green. You call it pale green? Yes, Mommy, I call it pale green. Okay. And right there. Okay. Now, let's you spin again. Let's have her spin again, guys. Again, she falls on the next one, and that is, of course, she falls on the fish, kind of. So we're going to have her pick a fish card. Okay, Mommy. Uh-oh. She loses a turn. She loses a turn. So it's Mommy's turn. I get two turns in a row. Blue. I move back three spaces. One, two, three. And I have to draw a card. This is my first turn. And I lose a turn. So... It is Mariah's turn again. So I lose my turn. I got from Mariah's losing her turn. Here, Mommy will spin it for you. It'll go faster. It did not go. Purple. Okay, purple. Let's go, people. Purple. We're going to purple. Jonah, you're almost there. Don't give up. You're almost in Nineveh. Look, there's Nineveh. Okay, she gets to go again. So we're going to have her spin again. Blue. I got blue. Oh, boy. Jonah, stay in there, please. Thank you. Mommy, this thing does not want to stay. Okay, Mommy will just do it and she'll fix it for you. 
There's the blue, and here's the little Jonah. Okay, guys. Now I think I can go. Oh, back to the, the next one. So anyway. Okay, Miss Mariah, let's do it. That color. You got gold. Okay, Mommy. I'll go to that gold. Jonah, you're on right there. You're on right there, 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 Jonah. Where God wanted you to go. Green. I am lagging far behind, aren't I, guys? I am, like, really far behind. In this game, I'm far behind. Okay, sweetheart. Okay, let's do this. Hold it down for me, Mommy, because it seems it's been better. Oh, I got one of those. Yeah, but you just go one. You just have to go one. Jonah, you're on right there. Don't take a break now. You're on right there. Blue. See, he's being pursued, guys. You see, my piece is pursuing him. But Jonah is all the way over there, almost to Nineveh. Look at this. We're almost to Nineveh. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Boo! Uh oh, there's no boo. There's no boo. So, therefore, Jonah has to go back to the blue. No, mommy. I don't want him to go back to the blue. He's almost there. It's okay. He can go forward his next spin. Okay, Mommy, thank you. You're welcome. The next purple. I stop and I draw a fish card. Oh, I get to spin again, guys. So I get to spin again. Oh, and I get to go to the other one. Now I go to the other one. And I draw a fish card again. And I lose my turn. So, I lose a turn. So, Mariah gets to go two turns in a row. You see? You get to go two times in a row now. Okay, Mommy. Yeah, a good card. When you get it, I know it's good when I get it. Purple. Ah, guess what? The only purple is guess who's going straight to Nineveh. Yay! Come here, Jonah. Jonah, you are finally in Nineveh. Good for obeying God. Everybody, Jonah is in Nineveh. So, therefore, guess who got Jonah to Nineveh? So, anyway, Jonah is now in Nineveh, guys. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed this game. I know it was just a little, little game. But, um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this game. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark and playing the, our game with us today. We really appreciated it. Um, I'm going to try holding it with my left um, so it doesn't go down. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed your visit. Thanks for stopping by and playing our game with us and listening to, and reading our story with us. We really appreciate it. Just stopping by for story time and game time. And we hope that you have a blessed and wonderful Sunday and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I got Jonah to Nineveh. Uh-huh. He didn't want to go. But I got in there. I know you did, sweetheart. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will see you all. We will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.